Good morning class. My name is Sandeep Reddy Lucky Reddy. We are here to we are here to present about distributed file systems. The outline of the presentation would be definition of a distributed systems, examples of distributed systems, basic design issues, goals of a distributed systems, advantages and disadvantages, conclusion. So, what is a distributed system? A collection of independent computers that appears to its users as a single coherent system. The features of distributed systems are no shared memory, each runs its own local OS, heterogeneity. Ideal characteristics are to use to present a single system image. The distributed system looks like a single computer rather than a collection of separate computers. Now the definition of distributed file system here. The distributed file system is a simply a classical mo model of a file system distributed across multiple machines. The purpose is to pr promote sharing of a dispersed files. This is an area of active research interest today. The resource on a particular machine are local to itself. Resource on other machines are remote. A file system provides a service for clients. The service interface is the normal set of file operation which creates, reads, etc. on files. Now distributed file systems characteristics. <coughs> To present a single system image, we need to hide internal organization communication details. We need to provide uniform interface. Easily, expandab easily expandable by adding new computers is hidden from users. Continuous availability because failure in one component can be covered by other components. Supported by middleware. Now, this figure shows the sharing of data in a distributed file system. In the figure, there are mul multiple processes. These are client process systems. These all client systems are virtually connected with distributed system layer, which is a middleware, and they are physically connected with the network. Now, the role of middleware. In some early research systems, middleware tried to provide the illusion that a collection of separate machines was a single computer. Example: Nav project. GL, Un GL Unix middleware. Today, clustering software allows independent computers to work together closely. More often, middleware also supports seamless ac access to remote services, doesn't try to look like a general purpose OS. Middleware examples. These are some of the examples like Corba, Common Object Request uh, Broker Architecture. DCOM, SANS ONS RPS, RPC, R RMI, and so. Middleware examples. All of the all of the previous examples support communication across a network. They provide protocols that allows the program running on one kind of computer, using one kind of operating system to call a program running on another computer with a different operating system. The communicating programs must be running the same middleware. Hello everyone, this is Basant Reddy Bodha. Today I am going to deal with the examples of distributed systems. Some of the examples of distributed systems are LAN, database systems, ATM network, internet or world wide web, mobile and ubiquitous computing. So let me explain all of these things in detail. Local area network. Local area network is a computer network that interact, interconnects computer in a limited area such as home school etc. In the figure the local area network is connected to different desktop computers or email servers <coughs> via network links. Here it is connected with the print and other servers, web servers, email servers, file servers. So these are all connect interconnect interconnected computers in a limited area. <coughs> the second examples of distributed file system is database management system database management system are specially designed application that interact with user application etc in the figure there are two processes display 1 and display 2 here the display the two processes are connected to a machine via os communication to external device and these application are 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 connected to database monitors and they are stored in databases and 
the two processes are I'm sorry the two machines are linked with inter network inter process communication as our topic deal with distributed file system they are distributed here and the next example of distributed file system is automatic teller machine network the ATM machine network the ATM machine the ATM teller machine network it is intended for the designer developer and maintain of the ATM here in the figure there are teller machines <coughs> which are connected to the computer controlling teller machines and this is again connected to the other bank account holding computers and they are interconnected with the computer holding bank account data which is nothing but to other controllers and it is connected to hot standby holding in a secondary copy of account banking these are all connected to a network via automatic teller machine network and the next topic is internet the internet is a global system of interconnected computer network that uses a standard protocol here see in the figure it shows the ISP as protocol is connected to different desktop computers and these are servers this is here these are servers this is connected to desktop computers and all are linked with a network link network link acts as a backbone to the internet And the next example of distributed system is World Wide Web. World Wide Web or WWW or W3 is a system of interlinked hypertext document access via internet. It is accessed via internet. So in the screenshot www.google.com, the WW is World Wide Web. The next is web servers and web browsers. The web servers and web browsers. The you know all uh, you guys know about web browsers. The web browsers are Google Chrome, Opera, Mozilla, Firefox, etc. Here, the web servers. Web servers are Google.com, Tamuk.edu, etc. And the basic design issues. My friend can explain about the basic design issues. Thank you. Hello, hello. this is Sampat Kumar Manewaro and I am going to deal with the design issues. Firstly, <coughs> what will be the design issues to call a system as a di distributed system? The characteristics are naming, communication, software structure, system architecture, workload allocation, consistency maintenance. Coming to naming, a name can be defined as a translated form of resource or object reference when it is interpreted. It uses a communication ID. It is a combination of IP address and port, port number. And the name resolution involves several translator steps. Design considerations. Uh, the, for the naming, the, we need to consider the choice of the namespace for each resource type and the name service to resolve uh, resource names to commu uh, communication ID. The second one is communication. What is communication? We all know sending and receiving the data is considered as a communication. In distributed system, the data is translated or tran uh, transferred uh, or received to a message passing. For message passing, the primitives are synchronous or blocking, asynchronous that is non-blocking, abstractions defined, it may be like channels, sockets, ports, etc. Communication patterns, uh, there are several types of communication patterns. There are like client server communication, example RPC function shipping, RPC in the sense remote procedure call and group multicast coming to the software structure for the basic computer system we have software layers like applications middleware operating systems computer networks coming to the distributed systems 
we have applications and all open services the open services this this is the layer which gives us supporting to the distributed programming from the computer me memory and the open system kernel services which acts as an operating system the computer uh, computer and network hardware which will act as network hardware there are some of the system architectures there are client server architecture peer to peer service provided by multiple servers proxy servers and caches mobile code and mobile agents network computers thin clients and mobile devices Com uh, coming to the goals to implement a distributed system the main goals are resource accessibility distribution transparency openness scalability security failure handling and concurrency resource accessibility it should support the res res remote resources like printers data files cpu cycles etc even in the use of multiple computers there should be a scope of sharing resources that is a group where transparency the software masks some of the distributing files for user friendly system for user friendly system these files which can be observed by the user at application level is called transparency there are some types of transparencies like access access transparency location transparency migration transparency application transparency concurrency transparency failure transparency and rel relocation transparency openness this deals with the extension and improvements of distributed systems that is any new software in the market should access the resources in the distributed system security even though it is it is a resource accessible openness security needs to be maintained in distributed systems client send request to access data managed by the servers so security is required for concealing the contents of messages identifying a remote users or other agent or other agent correctly scalability the name itself refers to a large scale of users that is more users and it need to be responded fast it depends on the process speed processor speed and network speed failure tolerance failure tolerance is also called as fault tolerance distributed systems must be available at the time of hardware software network or network failure concurrency simply a, co a distributed system co component should have the ability to access and update the ser shared server resources so these are the des design characteristics and goals of the distributed file system the example of the uh, the example of the dfs is a network file system is explained with the sun nfs which will be continued by my friend sun network file system sun network file system runs on a sun operating system which means network file system is both an implementation and specification to access remote files goal is to share a file system in a transparent way it is a client server model which acts between any two nodes here the two nodes are client and the server in the sun network file system mount is controlled by access rights and server specifications sun network file system can use heterogeneous machines that is different hardware operating system and network protocol etc let me explain in detail about mount control there are five operations performed in this protocol first the client request is sent via rpc to mount server mount server checks export listing containing file systems that can be exported legal requesting clients it's estimate to mount any directory within the legal file system server returns file handle 
to client. Server maintains list of clients and mounted directories. Mounting often occurs automatically when client or server boots. Remote the network file system protocol which is developed by Sun Microsystems. It allows users on a client computer to access files over network. Remote procedure call support below remote file operations. Make a note NFS server are stateless. Modified data must actually get to server disk before client is informed the action is complete using a cache would imply state information. A single NFS write is atomic. The, net, the network file system architecture is shown below. It consists of a client and a server. The client and server are commonly connected through a network. First, in the client section, system calls interference and then it goes to VS, VFS interference where a VFS interference is subdivided into three categories. In the first one, it goes to other types of file systems and in the second one is Unix 4.2 file systems where in this system, the files are saved in a disk. In the network file system client, it has been gone into remote procedure call and then it is transferred into a network. From that network and it is again transferred to a server remote procedure call and it is again transferred to a network file system containing in the server and it is transferred to a VFS interface through which it enters into a Unix 4.2 file systems and the file systems are saved into a disk. Some of the advantages and disadvantages of distributed systems. First, Shareability. Everyone in the network can share data, access the network. Expandability. The system can be expanded. Third, local autonomy. For improved performance, improved reliability and availability, potential cost, low. And some of the disadvantages are network reliance. Network reliance as it is connected to a network reliability is bit low complexity in this distributed system is high. When coming to security, as it is a net, as network is expanded, it is less secure and it is multi-point failure. Any queries? Thank you.